Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear viewers, welcome to our Taste of Learning on its 15th episode today. We will do English, inshallah. In English, we will do SPAG, or you can say GPS, spelling, punctuation, and grammar, or grammar, punctuation, and spelling. This GPS or SPAG has got immense importance in the, in the national curriculum tests in SATs and in GCSEs. Let us recap in the first place before you start. On the last episode last week, we had chemical reactions from science and we learned a lot of things from chemical reactions. How do two different types of atoms react when they are blended to each other in a particular set of uh, work spe specification or work environment? We learned from all this about all these things from our teacher last week. And we also learned equations and we also learned how reactant and product together combining uh, to make a chemical reaction. And chemical reaction keeps uh, boundless importance in GCSEs and in learning science. Today, in the studio, for you, I am Riaz Ahmad as the, as the host and I am running the show today, inshallah. We will learn SPAG. Let us tell you about the importance of SPAG. Spelling, punctuation and grammar is important, particularly in writing tasks. When our children are talking, speaking, they are talking in native standard or mother tongue standard, uh, the English they find in that way. But when they are working, they find the work really difficult in terms of spelling, grammar and punctuation. A lot of areas, they struggle and they suffer in a way that they struggle to get onto a higher grade. And in particularly GCSEs, I have experienced students who have had really good uh, knowledge and good um, writing skill in terms of style and vocabulary but when the question of grammar comes when the question of punctuation comes spelling comes i've seen the students is really struggling suffering from a lot of uh, problems which they shouldn't uh, be suffering from actually and this is actually happening because of the knowledge of spelling grammar and punctuation in key stage two, two sets, on paper one, there are 50 questions and 50 marks in the question only for spelling, grammar and punctuation. For grammar and punctuation in particular. And each question has got only one minute to answer. Even less than one minute to answer because there are 45 minutes to answer all 50 questions. So this is uh, really uh, crucial for a student to learn spelling, grammar and punctuation properly. So there are ways and methods and there are scores of topics where we have to improve and we have to repair those things in order to maximize our potential to get higher grade. So let's start. What are we going to be learning today? We will learn spelling, on spelling, how is a word constructed? When the question spelling comes, to construct a word obviously comes up. And when a student is failed to construct a word properly because they miss, up, miss out some letters or some syllables then the student is falling into the trap of doing bad in their exam. And we will learn prefixes and suffixes. There are some prefixes and suffixes commonly coming in English in or constructing a word and the students do really find it difficult to uh, work on this a particular area of prefixes and suffixes. And on punctuation we will learn today use of full stops and commas. I know you have 
I had a kind of um, uh, impression that, oh, this is very easy. Yes, this is very easy. When you will work and you let your work uh, see your teacher, you will find the plenty of mistakes there are on full stops and commas. This is because we don't know the rules. Then grammar. On grammar, we will learn subject verb agreement. Let me tell you one thing. This work is today designed for key stage 2 students up to GCSE students. Even the students who are uh, at colleges or any adult students or mature students, they will also benefit from this work today, inshallah, from this today's lesson or tutoring. Before I start, I would like to remind you of calling us on 02070960405 and you will answer those questions. I will display you, we will display you. We will keep a hold uh, for a couple of minutes so that you can see the uh, questions. You can also take the pictures of those questions in your smartphone and then you'll have to answer. Let me tell you a couple of rules because that might be e a, a bit easy in certain areas. So I would like to ask you to come up with your answers within uh, the segment you are finding a particular question. So if you uh, end up on the second uh, segment to answer the question, you might not get, be, it might not be scored for that particular uh, question which you was previously shown on the previous segment. So a question which is displayed on segment one has to be addressed on the particular segment, although you know the first segment is, should be a bit shorter because of Maghrib prayer break. So I, I would uh, like to give you a kind of uh, relax in these uh, things that you can answer those questions on the further segments on segment two and three. So I would like to uh, request you, I would like to uh, urge you to call us on 0207096 and answer all those questions and perhaps you have so far known about these things that uh, we have a, a few students who have come up with their questions correctly answered and they've got their names on the uh, list, uh, they've got their names on the list and we will inshallah send their prizes as soon as possible. So when you answer the questions, all the questions correctly, I would request you to leave your address to the uh, control room, to the, uh, to the uh, control room in the studio, inshallah. That will uh, let us know those uh, details and we will contact you as soon as possible. Spelling. How is a word constructed? If we uh, see slide two, we will see that a word is constructed by some syllables and a syllable is a part of a word that you can make sound of. So a syllable is a part of a word that you can make sound of. If you cannot make sound of then this is not a syllable. For example, beautiful, b then ot full, b slash ot slash full or you can say B A B U T full beautiful. So there, there are three syllables in the word beautiful. So if you if you learn spelling through syllables, splitting them into syllables, that will be easier for you to remember the spellings of those words which you find really difficult. So how a syllable is constructed? There must be a vowel in a syllable. Without a vowel, a, a syllable cannot be constructed because only vowel is a letter that makes, that helps you make sound. And remember, Y is also uh, acting as a vowel in some areas, as we say that, fully. For example, we say beautifully, then at the end, Y it makes sounds like E. So a word is constructed by some syllables, and a syllable must have a vowel in it in order to be a syllable and uh, there are five vowels you know them which are a e i o u all these five vowels including another word or another letter y which sounds like vowel acts like vowel 
should be in the a syllable, then this part of word will be a syllable. Now the question comes, when a syllable is there, what are other parts of a word? Because we are learning the construction of a word. In a word there are prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes that comes before and it adds before to a word to the root word and constructs another new word. It sometimes changes the meaning of that word. So a prefix is a word or a syllable that is that sits before another word to change that word by adding extra meaning to the word, to the root word. If we look at slide three, we will see that there are some prefixes which are commonly coming in our uh, in our words to construct new words to add extra meanings to words. If we look at slide three, we will see that prefix, meaning, an example. Can we see slide three, please? You know, on slide three, you can see the prefix commonly coming and the meaning, potential meaning, there might be more meaning around it, help. And the words can be constructed, enable, encompass, enjoining. Another prefix common, which is by, the meaning is to. Bicycle, two cycles definitely. Bi monthly, biennial. Then co, co is four, the meaning is four. Coefficient, coincidence, and in is not, inactive, inappropriate. Now, what is a suffix? A suffix is a word or a syllable that adds at the end of a word to add extra meaning to that word or to change the meaning of that word. As we have learned about prefixes which comes come before a word to add to that word to uh, add extra meaning or to change the meaning of that word like that there are suffixes which are adding to the uh, sentence uh, to the word at the end of the word and they add extra value, extra meaning to those words extra and they change the meanings of those words. So a suffix is a syllable that adds at the end of a word to add extra meaning to that word. For example, identity add if I. Identity add if I. If you go to slide four, we will see that identity add if I. You can see that the first word, the root word, is identity. It has changed its sh form when it has added if I to it, which is a suffix, if I is a suffix, and it has taken another form, which is identify. There are a list of common suffixes, as you can see on the slide, able, ants, ant, ends, if I, eyes, only. These are commonly used to be uh, added to the end of a word to change the meaning of those words. Apart from pref prefixes, suffixes change the structure of the word. So when you spell, you have to bear in your mind that changing the form of the word is a task what a suffix does. So when you have added a suffix, as, as we had done for identify, so you will see that word has lost, lost its previous meaning and is, as it has gained a new meaning which might be opposite or which might be uh, matching to the meaning of the uh, root word. Now a question for you. We will display a 
slide where you can see there will be 10 spellings. 10 spellings as you can see put the missing letters in order to write the words correctly. 2 marks for each correct answer. Total marks is 20. So you can see, you can take a picture of it or you can write them down. So you have to come to me with your answers. You have to tell me the word. You don't need to tell me the missing letters. You will tell the words. One, this, two, this, three, this, like this. And I'm going to tell you one thing. If you can score less than 10 on this question, that means if you can uh, answer five uh, spellings correctly, then you'll be awarded 10 points. Other than if, you, if, if it is less than that, I won't award you any mark. So you have to at least answer five spellings, five words correctly on this question. So however, before we go to, to the uh, break, I will again display you once again. Uh, so don't worry. This is, we have learned about spellings. And to remember spellings, I can give you some more t tips. How could you remember spellings? You have to think about some letters which are occurring in a word, how many times they occur. For example, embarrassed. Embarrassed, in embarrassed, this is an embarrassing <laughs> word where you can see that R and S, they occur twice each. So embarrass, E M B A R R A, then S S embarrassed. So if you think about all these things, you remember that before uh, A, there are R twice, and after that S comes twice. So these are the tricky bits you have to remember in order to remember how a word is spelled because spelling a word is very important. Like, you, like I said before, how is that important uh, to your GCSEs? How is it important to your SATs? On your GCSEs, you can see that there are questions on IGCC Cambridge when you attend paper, extended paper two. You have to do a reading task. After the reading task, you have to, uh, you have to write uh, something in your own words. So there, you have to describe the, some situations of some scenarios and you have to write in your own words your own accounts matching with those accounts given in the, in the insert or the script. So when you're going to write, you will see that there are spellings uh, involved because you're writing definitely and five marks out of 20 marks will be for SPAG. So one fourth will be for SPAG, and it is very easy to score five marks. And if we, if we can acquire five marks out of 20 marks, uh, this is the good news. And then you can easily uh, achieve a uh, higher uh, grade uh, or your target grade, inshallah. But on of some students, uh, I've noticed that they are doing very well on their 15 marks, which is the quality, the content of their, uh, of their answers. But on the SPAG, bit they really struggle. So I'd like to tell you one thing that do not take it for granted or do not take it that easily or that you know uh, lightly. Please take it seriously. SPAC is an important thing on your GCC. It's a cru crucial matter to determine your grade to um, uh, position your position uh, on your GCSEs. Let's before we go to the break, I would like to again summarize this segment. Okay, I can see that there is a call. Let's see who is on the line. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Yeah. Who is that calling? Um, I'm calling to to the question um, um, to answer the question. Can you speak up? Yeah. Okay. Can I know your name, please? Razan. Okay, Razan, mashallah, Razan, you've answered on maths, Razan. And you have only, I can see on the, on the sheet where I've noted down your name and the scores, you have only 10 points ten, or 10 marks left to be awarded for maths. 
However, English will be separately counted. So your uh, count of your scoring is started now, inshallah. Tell me the first question, isn't it? Is this, yes. Are those spellings, yeah? I'm yeah, I'm going to write, it, it spelled like it's A T P A R. -E you don't need to, Razan, you yes. don't need to spell, just, okay, yeah, yeah, you need to spell, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Yeah. A P P uh -huh. A R mm -hmm. E N T L Y. Amazing. The next. And uh, the next one, um, I don't have it yet. Only the first one. So. Because the <laughs> screen went. Sorry, you've done only five. Uh, first one. Can you do more? Yeah, because the screen went. Yes. Result. Yeah. Can you do more? At least. Four more. Yeah, because so the screen went. Wait. Sorry? Uh, yes, Rosan. Hello, go ahead. Oh, and uh, number seven, I know number seven. Yes, go ahead, yeah. Difficult. Yes, number seven, yeah. Difficult. Difficult. Cult. Spell. Spell please. Approximately. No, approximately. spell. You have to spell. Number seven. To spell. D I F F I C U L T. Yes. Difficult. Wait. Difficult? Wait, no. Little bit. I E S. Yes. Well Did done. Cool. Rizan, well done. Yeah. 20 marks. Yes. What else? Take your time. Don't worry. Approximately. Which one? Number Yes, Rizan. Uh, number four. I'm going to do number four. Number four. So I can see that the, uh, the uh, question has been displayed. Thank you, the brothers who have uh, helped me by displaying those questions again. So Rezan can be helped. Yeah, Rezan, yeah, go ahead. A P P R O X. Yeah. A M A T E X X X L Y. I haven't heard the letter after X. After X. Mhm. Mm Number four. So I can see that the uh, question is the yes. 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 Wait. Mm. Are there any more words for you to spell? No, no wait. Let me let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Razan, you have very little time because um, we are going for a break. Anyone? Okay. Wait. I okay. will accept your answers after the break, inshallah, because we have very uh, short time. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, we have very uh, a little time uh, in our hand to uh, continue because uh, we have to go to a break in a minute. So okay. You can come. You can still continue. No problem. Do you have any 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 other uh, word? You can tell me one word. I think. Number ten. Yeah. Go ahead quickly. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-I-N-G. Yes. Frightening. Yes. You're not frightening, yeah? Yeah, I know frightening. Are you frightening? You're very confident. You're not frightening, that's why. You have answered correctly. Thank you very much, Arizan, for your beautiful answer. And you've got all answers, all the five, I think one, two, three, four. You've got one left to score 10 points. 
So my dear viewers, brothers and sisters who are watching this show, Alhamdulillah, we are you know, doing a uh, first segment. We have come to the end of uh, this first segment. We have covered uh, the spellings and a, a girl, Razan, uh, she has beautifully answered uh, four of the words, uh, ten words. I hope, inshallah, she will come after the break. And stay tuned in. We will see you after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.